caught up with Vic Whaley, Mr. Excitement, number 14, coming out of Coulterville, Illinois. And uh, Vic, behind you on the trailer is a compact car. I was uh, I was a little concerned when I saw the Whaley sign on the compact car. What's going on over there? That is actually my daughter's car. First time that she's getting to drive and she wanted to, so I built her a car and let her drive. So Aaliyah's getting behind the wheel. She's getting behind the wheel. So uh, I'm, I'm sure, coming from your family, she's got a lot of experience in the yard and stuff like that? Oh yeah, she drives all the time in the yard. Oh, yeah? Yep. Right. She's got her own car, she just gets out there and goes. So what are we going to see from her on the track this weekend? Well, she told her mom she's going to do one of two things. She's either going for the mad dog or she's going to win. Okay. Well, I guess, I mean, that's the way to go here at RCR. I mean, uh, get the mad dog at this thing, it's pretty prestigious. Yeah. And uh, driving for the win at a show like this is hard to do. Well, maybe she can do both. I'd like to see that. Uh, speaking of mad dog stuff, man, you had a rough ride at Hot Springs. Yeah, I did. Feeling all right? I'm just fine. Had to, had to take some time to get uh, head clear a little bit? Yeah, about a day. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you were kind of the talk of the, of the sport a little bit for getting out of that car and going over and shaking that guy's hand. Um, what is it that kind of instills that sportsmanship in you? I, for, we build these cars to crash them. I mean, can't get mad at a guy for taking advantage and putting me out. Okay. It was a good shot. It was a real good shot. <laughs> you uh, had a little tough luck with this car this week? Yeah, transmission went out, short notice, but got a different one in it, ready to go now. Ethan Church helped with that? Ethan Church is a man. He uh, he told me uh, we'll pull a trainee out of his car and put it in this one since I didn't have another one. Okay, it's good to have some friends. Yes, it is. So all that, uh, all that help you've been giving him paid off? Yep, <laughs> I'm trying to teach him. It was working pretty well. He had a good run at Hot Springs. Yeah, he did. Just left me hanging. Left me hanging. <laughs> I look for him on the track and he's out in the middle and I'm on the end. What's your prediction for your performance this weekend, Vic? Uh, slow and steady wins the race. I like to hear that. As Bill Miller said last weekend, four tires and steering wins the derby. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all the uh, all the help we can get from uh, veteran drivers like you guys. I appreciate it. It's always good to catch up with you and good luck in the inspection when you go through, through for your stay. Thank you. Thanks, bud.